guys, it's me again. Um, how are you? How you doing? Are we ready? Like, are we ready to like dive in? Because I feel like this is something that I struggle with, something that lately a lot of people have been calling me about it. And I feel like it's something that doesn't get talked much. Um, so let's let's talk about it. Like, let's just vent and air out all the issues that we may be having. And the things that, the thing, not the things, we're gonna talk about one thing. And um, it's, it's something that, again, I've been, you know, dealing with a lot as well. Um, it's about being in a funk. Like, how many of you guys, at the show of hands, and don't be afraid, do not be afraid, because nobody's really watching you, but at the show of hands, who has or is in a funk? And when I mean a funk, I mean like you don't want to do anything. You're not motivated. You are, you're just like blah with your business. Hello. I, it's I see me. you back there, okay? Um, but here's the thing. Did you know? that most business owners go through a funk. Like it is absolutely normal to get in a funk. Let, let me explain. So here's the thing. Most of the time we work for ourselves, right? When you have a nine to five, it's very easy to go to work. You have this routine. You might not like your job, you might not want to be there, but you still go and you still do the job that you're supposed to be doing, right? You have daily duties that you're supposed to do. When you work for yourself, you don't have anybody telling you what to do, right? So it's easier to fall into a funk if you're by yourself, right? Also, I feel like a lot of times with social media, we start looking at everything around us, right? We start comparing ourselves and realizing like, dang, like, I wish I had that. Or man, why can I have that many followers? Or why, why doesn't people like share my stuff or support me? Or am I not good enough? And you start to question yourself and, and think like, man, maybe I'm not good enough for this. Maybe I'm not talented enough or knowledgeable enough or whatever it is. And you get yourself in these funks. You don't realize you're in a funk, but you are. And let me tell you, you're not the only one. You are not the only one. If you are in a funk or have ever been in a funk, comment below. Let other people know that it's okay. Now, what it's not okay, that you give up or you stay there. You cannot stay there, okay? It is normal, but I need you to like, shake it off, like literally shake it off and get to work. Because at the end of the day, your work is not gonna do itself, okay? And if you're passionate about your job, passionate about your business, the way you started when you first thought of this business idea, you were all excited. I need you to go back to that. I need you to look at your reasons, okay? So one of the things that I do personally is that I put my reasons on my computer, right? I have a two screen computer, actually I have three screens. Don't judge me, okay? My mind is everywhere. But on my main two screens on the bottom, I have a picture of my whys. You know who my whys are? My kids. My kids are my why. I wake up every day, they drive me crazy, y'all. Waking up in the morning is not fun, but they're my reasons why. And sometimes I do go in a funk, right? And I go into these places that I'm like, ah, oh, why is nobody supporting me? Why, why is my business not growing the way I want it to grow? Why, 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 why? And I realized that it wasn't about that. It was about my reasons why, which were my kids. And I have to stay focused. I, a lot of times my asthma doesn't let me sleep at night. And I wake up and I'm so tired and I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to. But I shake it off. 
I shake it off. And sometimes I don't. Sometimes I, I sit on the couch and I mope all day and I'm like, oh my God, this is sucks. But then I pick them up from school and I'm like, I wasted a whole day moping when my reasons why I need it. So think about your reasons why, right? It might not be your kids. It, it might be your home. It might be your legs. It might be a lot of other things that are not your kids, right? It might be your, your employers, your staff. Like maybe you have a staff and you can't like, you don't want to fire anybody because then they're not going to have a job, right? And then they're not going to have money to pay their bills. So you have to look at your why. Put a reminder up, okay? I have my kids on my screen. That's like my thing, right? But then on top where I have a big whiteboard with all my different things that I got to do, I also have my four people we lost. And I have their card. Oh, sorry. <laughs> ah, sorry, I didn't think I was going to cry at that part. Woo. Woo. Right. I'm back. Um, so I that's a reminder for me to continue. To continue because they can't continue. They're no longer here. So that's also another reason why. So again, being in a funk is totally normal. Totally. And I would say most business owners do get into them. Um, but you need to learn how to shake it off. You need to wake up, get back on the grind, you know, listen to YouTube videos. When I'm driving my kids to school, my kids hate it. But that's like my way of getting into my zone. I listen to YouTube videos or podcasts or like books that are inspirational, not like, you know, Dateline, because I, I love like Dateline, but I, I listen to that while I'm working. But when I'm driving, <laughs> don't judge me. I see you back there judging me. Don't judge me. Don't judge Sonia. But I, I listen to those things to get into the spirit, and I say spirit, but into the zone, into the working zone of like coming to work, right? I know that when I reach my house and I make my cup of coffee, because that is a mandatory, I might not drink the cup of coffee, but it's a, it's a, like, it's a routine that I had to put myself in. I put my phone on do not disturb because people know, oh, Joanna's home, just call her, she'll do it. No, 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 I work. I work and I work and I work. So I had to put my phone on do not disturb all my social medias on do not disturb. I will go, go through them, you know, because that's part of my job. But you have to figure out like a way to get into your zone. Another thing that I do is um, I when I get into a funk, I start looking at what's surrounding me, right? It might be something silly. It might be you went to a place and that reminded you of something. It might be that you're hanging around the wrong person. I've done that. I've cut people off, not because I hate them, because I knew that they're not in the space that I need to be in. I, You guys need people that can uplift you and take you to the next level. You need somebody that can hold you accountable for what you're doing, right? So get yourself a group of friends. I said that in my previous video, if you haven't seen it, it's gonna be up here, all right? I talk about obstacles. And one of the things you have to do is get yourself a small group and, and do business together, not compete together. Do business together. Learn their weaknesses and learn your strengths. And then each other, hold each other accountable every day. You know, send out those texts, hey guys, let's get it, let's get this money. If you don't have anybody, call me. I will absolutely put you in your zone. But I'm going to need some time too for you to put me in my zone. So listen, I'm going to hold you accountable, but you need to hold me accountable because I am a human and I also get put in my phones. But you need to really look at who's surrounding you. I had people that were calling me as I'm driving my kids to school to tell me how crappy their job is and how they did not want to go to work 
and how this person i don't even know these people and they're like naming these people like name dropping like i'm gonna know i don't know these people and i get it but there's a time for that call me after work we'll talk about your business after work don't get me as i'm trying to get in my zone do not call me to tell me because that puts me in a down slope so think about who's calling you when they're calling you who are your friends you know like that is so big who is your circle and it's okay to have like i always say i, I know a lot of people but i have selected friends so see who your friends are who your circle is and um go from there but i need you to shake that off i i know it's hard i know you're like oh but nobody supports me and my family doesn't support me and and i'm talking because these are things that i say but guys like seriously it is so normal and it's okay get out of it i need you to snap out of it dust it off get on the computer keep on going stop comparing yourself on social media because we all know it's a bunch of fakeness out there so get off of that get at work get going even if you change something on your website or you blog or you take a quick picture of your coffee or you literally go get yourself a cup of coffee even if you sit there and just look and people i love people watching and sometimes i need to just go and people watch and just be in a zone where i can regroup my thoughts so do that find what's your way of getting out of your funk i'm talking about my ways to get out of my funk it's normal i know a lot of you guys are in your funk i'm sorry i'm always here to listen i'm always here to help you and uplift you i want to see you be successful shoot i'm trying to be successful too so let's do this together um guys it's it's not that bad if you haven't done so i haven't said it in this video and i should i slacked on that but you should be subscribed to my channel you should follow you should like and you should comment because people need to realize that there's other people just like them and if we built this huge community then we're going to be unstoppable if you do want to be part of a growing community um i have a facebook group and i literally post things to keep motivated for all of us if you're interested i'm going to post a link below but follow my social medias i'm going to post it below um if you need a chat or you need some motivation comment below or follow me or send me a dm just don't send me a DM to date you because that's probably not going to happen. Okay. But on the serious note, guys, let's help each other. Get out of your funk. I call them funks. Um, and uh, let's get to work. Let's get to work. Okay. Again, subscribe, like, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.